It's, uh, yes, it's, uh, I, um, I would be a different person if I was tall. Yeah, I just came here to hit dingers and have a good time. That's about it. Hey, ladies, if you like a guy who's not too picky, I'm your man. Welcome, Welcome to Ward Mode. Hi, everyone. So I shaved my eyebrows off. Um, how do I look? I think I'm styling. Give this a like. Hey, you took me for granted, but God took me seriously. We are not the same, and it's time for me to elevate. Y'all know I'm like a superhero, right? That I've come to save the world. You think I'm slow. You. And show y'all how to do things. So great Every fucking liberal, man. Everyone. You see what they put me through? Hello? Wallahi al azim you are gay. Don't say this to me. Wallahi you are gay. Yes. Wallahi you are gay. My phone broken. It's a mafi na kase. It's a kane. It's a kabru. It's a bli. It's a rakaman kane. Kane. Please, government, do not do this. Amen. <laughs> You got you doing easy work there, Cupcake. That's my cousin, nigga. That's my shooter, nigga. That's my cousin's shooter, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's not so funny, actually. Still don't know how to talk about the top topic of masturbating. Difficult, man. I, I do it, but I don't come. And, you know, it's, 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 I, can, I can be that honest, but <laughs> it's simply to boost my power type of vibe. Yeah, Andrew Whitney is Susan Jewicki's sister, ex-wife of Sergey Brand, who is ex-husband of the Bull Champion. But yeah, it gets into like, um, here's this thing. So the thing is, they're going to start prescribing, um, what's it called? Oh, that big. Oh yeah, big time. So they're going on, they're sitting there, Hail Mary Pass, they got no fucking money, it's a penny stop now. Ozempic is? No, 23andMe is a penny stop. Oh, okay, okay. So they're like, dude, based on your DNA, we're going to start mailing you Ozempic, because it says you're a fat ass here. The 23andMe, the, according to this, dude, 23andMe can't tell the difference between a monkey and a fucking person. It's the same stuff with the uh, yeah. the COVID test where they're like, dude, it's literally just testing if you're a human. And it couldn't even do that fucking It correctly. was test. It was like getting like bananas and stuff. But how is it a pyramid scheme? So it's a Ponzi scheme. They build up a thing saying like, dude, we can do this. We can do this. It's the same as the girl. That's probably why that- Theranos. Ch- Theranos chick probably got so pissed. She's sitting there with general fucking- What's his name? Mad Dog. Oh, Mattis. Ma- Ma- Mattis was in on that? Mattis was in on it. Clinton was in on it. So, like, she Ugh. was sitting there raising them. Lying. Well, dude, they're all lying. Yeah. They're all playing it. Like, Science. I can't <laughs> stop thinking about that all the world is stage shit right now. Obviously. I mean, That's my whole new thing is, dude, we're so, we are primes. We're so above this. Yeah. And they're going to try to drag you in to go vote, dude. They're going to try to tickle you and make you go vote. Dude. And, dude, it might be the last time you get the vote. So maybe just vote. Maybe just vote for Trump. Who the fuck knows? They might just do that. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I really feel like they're going to do the shit that they did with um Brazil, where it's like Rogan has said it before. And it's like, yeah, we can fucking, just have a bunch of people that vote on stuff. And, like, dude, that is a highway to hell. Yeah, but they kicked Elon out, right? Elon's not allowed to go. He's not allowed to go to there or the No, EU. like I'm saying like Twitter's gone from there, right? They're trying to ban X, and if you go on X in Brazil, it's eight G's a day. Yeah, I wouldn't trust any of that. That shit with the telegram, it's the same thing. Like they got they're doing something with tele like they're pissed at Telegram because like America it doesn't go with what America wants going yeah. on. So they tell they tap Macron. <laughs> this is like, leading into my one and only thought I have currently. What do you got? <laughs> the internet is going to be like getting on an airplane. Like people, you should just roll on airplanes with whatever the fuck you want. You could smoke on airplanes. You could do whatever the fuck you want. And then nine eleven happened, and it's like Patriot Act. You can't. You got to yeah, go through scanners. Go through biometrics. Yeah. But yeah, but I'm saying it's going to be like you're not going to be able to get on the internet and do shit. Like you're going to have to be as buttoned up as you are at the airport. Like you know. can't. You can't go in the airport and start fucking freaking out and saying whatever you want. Might happen. Might not. Dude, I'm like with that fucking um. 
the World Economic Forum thing, that's what made me think of it because the World Economic Forum is coming out and saying like, while all the terrorists are doing their thing, like there's going to be a new AI internet terrorist and they're going to have to shut down the fucking web. Now, I think your I think your ideas are you're they're fear mongering you, dude. You're getting mo- you're getting mongered. I mean, I couldn't even yeah. enjoy the Derek Trucks concert because I was sitting there. And my mom's like, "How are the bugs?" Absolutely fine. I'm not getting bit at all, and then I just started getting destroyed by fucking mosquitoes. Yeah, I don't know, like. It could be a complete bullshit that the mosquito malaria thing to shut down the world is fake. And I believe you when you say, like, there's no way you can genetically modify a mosquito. Look at how small they are, dude. The carrot disease it just doesn't make fucking sense. They just can't make shit that small, dude. But, dude, they're definitely releasing a fuck ton because they're everywhere. I get I, like I don't get mosquito bites like that. I I'm not a good barometer because I lived in the I lived in the fucking yeah Nile River for a you while. Lived in a fucking swamp. Yeah, I, I, for some reason there it seems like that could be their thing because they got to release something at some point to just completely shut down the fucking world because they can't go through this fucking election. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, dude, they, mosquitoes are a good. Fucking it's not thing. just it's not just America though. The whole world's doing elections. Yeah, so they're saying AI is hacking them. Gonna They're going to come fun. out and say AI did it, so it's not real. Yeah, I mean, yeah. which would be fucking hilarious if Trump won again. Yeah, but this whole thing about um, them being able to use the genome sh- information they get to bio- bioengineer viruses, it's all fake. I do. That, that- like, it makes more sense to me. Like they said, this chick says that DNA was literally never been seen. The DNA strands never <laughs> been seen. I can't believe it's a theory. Right? So The minute you hit me with it something is ba- a theory, I'm out. <laughs> I will try to find it, dude. Like I, I didn't know you were gonna start. As soon as I found it, you started kind of talking like we we're doing the podcast. So. It's all right. We could start and stop. I'm just it's okay. Here it is, dude. The Watson Crick Nobel Prize was given for a one. I'm page, out. Yo, the Watson Crick Nobel Prize was given for a one page theoretical paper where a salt of DNA was imaged, not all the same DNA, and a lot of assumptions and assertions and hand waving was made. I don't believe in the Nobel Prize. They gave one to Obama, and then he started bombing people. He ran out of bombs in fucking Syria. <laughs> that's what you're telling me. Killed it, American citizens, dude. Yeah, he did. So I mean, that's what they might they might not want that um, the Trump shit because it's like if you start taking away immunity, Obama murdered someone. Obama murdered a chef. Yeah, that shit came and went, and nothing fucking happened about it. Well, I don't think they investigated that. No, they did not. But he on, he like openly bombed a fucking American citizen. Who? Some dude on on American soil. Some dude fucking killed him. <laughs> I forgot he made that like legal or some shit. I don't know. I got into um I got into a bunch of shit, dude. Fucking I finally got my foreign affairs magazine. Are you serious? So now that long? <laughs> dude, it's for two it's like so it's a lot. It's like two hundred pages. One I read mag. like I read half of it, yeah. But yo, bro, Just it brag. is I mean, bro, <laughs> non stop reading, not fucking non stop, dude. Yo, pages. it's a lot print's good size. Obviously. I was thinking about it. I was like, they probably make a good size for old people. Yeah, that's the only people that are reading it. But it's like Eric Schmidt and fucking General Milley, they're writing articles. So like this is this this is the um CFR, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is the Council for Foreign Relations. This is their are magazine. these the white papers? I'm assuming this is what when Jones says this is the white papers. I read the white papers. That's why I mean, it's you weird what, that you had to get a fucking phone call to get this shit. No, that was the that was the um, Stratford report. So what's this? Stratford report has given me fuck all. By the way, <laughs> they I was like, yo, they Your won't, days are numbered. They won't let me into the good shit, and the good shit right now is all of our aircraft carriers have left the Pacific. So don't know what that means because they won't let me in any of the cool shit because <laughs> they wanted to talk to me on the phone. But they wanted to do a phone interview before they gave me. It's access. probably boomers. It sounded like a young. I think what it was was the Stratford report was boomers, and now it's called like Rain Worldview. And I think like young gohards your age have taken it over. Yeah, and they're like, I'm gonna call this guy. And I see figured what it all out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not listening to a fucking thing from them if that's what the fuck it is. Yeah, but I had um, I read, I did. Yeah, they're, so they're talking. You got on, on your notes. I don't have a lot of notes. I, but you got on it. No more. I got scratch? on my notes, dude. Like that. Listen, man, I'm trying to upgrade here. <laughs> like that. You know. So on my notes. Let me see what's related to this. Droid armies, Chinese AI, DGI, and the Uyghurs. What's DGI and the Uyghurs? It sounds DGI, like a band. DGI is the fucking gimbal, bro. What? The gimbal. Is DGI. DGI, the company. Oh, they make gimbal. The Mimo. What, like, what are they My doing? My gimbal. Yeah, what are they doing with the Uyghurs? Dude, they are the Chinese uh, drone company. 
Oh. So they do drone policing over there and they fucking police the Uyghurs with it. And it's coming here. Like, so. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Millie, General Milley and uh, Eric Schmidt are talking about how, like, the F 35, the F 22s and shit, they can't handle, they're not built to handle a swarm of drones that are yeah. 500 bucks. Yeah. You, can you know just what I mean? Throw them at shit. And they've already had some wins. So there's drone warfare going on. And that's so that's scary, coming dude. up. Yeah. They go like zero to 200 in six seconds. It's like AI psych warfare. Drone warfare, like the, the next level of shit they're saying, like America is behind the eight ball on this stuff because it's a, all of the new generations of warfare that are being used are not, we're not in the Pentagon's uh, game plan. Like DARPA, DARPA made drones fucking a long time ago. They made GPS a long time ago, yeah. all that shit. But these guys have taken it, whipped it up into this potion where they can like go out and oh, that's no. why they got to <laughs> shut, that's why they got to oh, shut no. down Telegram because like when shit hits the fan, you can jump on Telegram and communicate. 75% yeah. of all of Ukraine's on fucking Telegram. So like they're trying to be like, dude, watch out. There's fucking drones over here. And they just go, oop, no more tele no end to end encryption. Boom, you're gone. That's a perfect way. Like this is this makes complete sense looking at the World Economic Forum paper. Because that's a perfect way to do AI and fucking internet like uh terrorism. I see what you're saying. There's drones with like a caliphate fucking flag coming at you in the middle of fucking Philly, dude. Like you're gonna think that's ISIS. They're doing, um, in China, they're doing robotic dogs. Like the fucking things in Black Mirror? Yeah, they were real. Oh, they put guns on them. I know, it's real. Did you see the um, the girls that they made? No. They, oh, yes, I they did. They made girls, yeah. Very realistic, very enticing. I mean, good start. You can shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking power yeah. button that you can just shut off. You're not yeah. making much sense right now. I'm going to have to fucking that's restart why, you. That's right why quick. there's rage rooms, dude. <laughs> the fuck was I just watching where it was like... um the fuck i gotta remember it. it was like i'm gonna need a rage room um it was something like do you like her better than me and, and the dude's like well she doesn't cry oh it's napoleon <laughs> <laughs> so when he has his fight with her and he's like you selfish little yeah. pig they're they're having like a little heart to heart and he's like and she's like did you fuck anyone and he's like yeah of course like and he's like were they did you like were you in love with them he's like, no they didn't cry so that made them more attractive <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon hit the rage room, bro. Dude. Yeah. In the extended edition, he's like, get. I don't know if it was in the original. You're a legend for getting a fucking projector. <laughs> it's a hundred bucks, dude. dude. It's I literally you don't have to move. Grader. I don't have to move my head. I watch movies on the ceiling. Does it make you tired though? If you're just sitting, I, I mean, don't know. I take dream walls, dude. I'm fucking gone. It's a good hack for blue light, though. I will say that you were overcoming that. My fucking eyes hurt. <laughs> from i, yeah, I just yeah. got the Roz back dude this shit is not good for you to look at these fucking screens <laughs> yeah there's a scene in the new napoleon where it might have been in the old one though but he's he comes back he's got cucked oh dude everything i've been watching has cucks dude's getting cucked in it it's blowing my they fucking know. mind they know that'll get us uh but yeah napoleon got cucked and he came all the way back from egypt he found out his wife's a slut and then like one of the girls he's eating dinner by himself and one of the girls comes in and refills his white wine and then he grabs her by the hip and he's like, I've come back here and my wife's not here. I need, I'm sad and I need comforting. How would you comfort me? And <laughs> she's like, I'll draw you a bath. Ooh. And so then she goes in and then he like puts his head on it. He's such a fucking oh, dude. It's crazy, man. Like it's a fucking hilarious movie. I think Joaquin Phoenix is great in it. Yeah. Like I like a lot of the Ridley Scott shit. I don't really understand. Like I think that dude has deeper meanings to all of his shit. Oh yeah, dude. I just don't understand why we need Gladiator too. But. Glad air too is gonna. I mean, Russell <laughs> put himself yeah. away from that. That like, I I swear to God, at this point, like you were telling me about Lord of the Rings and stuff. It like the and I was listening. To, I think I was listening to Matt and Greg Fitzsimmons talk where like talk shows are fucked. Like late night talk shows are stupid. It doesn't even matter. I tried to watch. Um, time has gone fast. I thought it was a magazine. <laughs> they changed their. Time Magazine also says fucking weird shit, bro. Yeah. Um, did you see that? Thought, continue did thought. you see the comparison? We're just going to have to roll with stuff, yeah, dude. Okay. Uh, did you see the comparison with RFK Jr. before and after on Time Magazine? So oh, with the ultra-processed foods? Yes. Dude, that like, shit makes no sense because there's literally a Listeria outbreak with fucking deli meats. They had to get rid of 7 million pounds of boar's deli head. Deli meats are literally part of their religion. Stop. Dude, it's 7 million <laughs> pounds of boar's head. That's a genocide. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, that's a lot of that's meat. That's so many. And like, dude, all of it is ultra processed. And I was watching a video of like dudes, like you were just over there. You were drinking your fucking, uh, what's the Powerades they have over in England? Lucasaid. Lucasaid, the Fanta orange or orange soda looks like orange. 
Their shit, do- it tastes different. Too. It's not allowed to have the shit that makes it super orange. It's kind of refreshing. Like if you are drinking their stuff and you, I mean, I don't, this might just be me now that I'm saying this out loud. You know when you swallow Gatorade? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have no idea where you go with this. If I continue. Do you remember Gatorade? Yes. Like, yeah, has it yeah. been too long? No, I remember it. <laughs> you know when you get like a mucus from Gatorade? Oh, yeah. Like, like a in film the back in of your, your throat, mouth. you get like a film? Yes. You don't get that. So whatever that ingredient is, we we have it. They don't. Yeah, they're they're yeah. not allowed to use like a red five. Like I just tried to get on my way home from uh, the suburbs yesterday. I tried to get club soda with a tiny bit of lemonade, a spritz, a limonada. No, dude, <laughs> fuck that shit. And I spazzed. I was at Wawa. I was filling it up, and I filled up with a little bit of lemonade. I you was know, like, you can buy lemons. I know, but I was at Wawa and I was like, I just want to. They get- have lemons at Wawa. Do they really? Yeah. I didn't know about their produce selection, but I tried limonada. And it was a lime lemonada. It was the color of your shirt. And I just <laughs> yeah. went home drinking. I was like, dude, this is fucking poison. And it's <laughs> literally just meant to stir you up. Yeah, yeah. Like they chuck all that Shit. stuff. All Everyone in the fucking hood, all that stuff, they're all getting stirred up by Red 5. Yeah, wound up. They get hit the rage, the rage room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've never been to one? I did. I just found out they existed last week. Yeah, it's like it's up there with like I was watching a video of like a dad and a son hitting a rage room. And I was like, bro. <laughs> Mommy must be in control. Ch- chicks hit that. They're like, I feel better. They just go home and cry. Dude, so I watched I watched probably some of the hardest cock shows I've ever seen in my life. These are just shows you're watching? Every show. I don't know. I mean, I literally can't be cucked, so. Yeah. <laughs> jokes jokes on you guys. You're playing 5D chess <laughs> on them right now. But uh, It's like never worrying about getting an STD. Like, nah, my <laughs> dick just fucked up. <laughs> there was, you know, I love the untolds. Oh yeah. So they did an untold on um McNair. McNair. And like this kid got cocked into oblivion by Steve McNair going to Dave and Buster's. And it was just like just happenstance romantic, romantic comedy kind of thing. Like girl working at Dave and Buster's. Yeah. Falls it's in love weird with that football all the player. NFL players love DMB. Yeah. Like well, Shane, all the bills went to DMB. Dude, they're young bros. Never let your there's, girlfriend work there. There's video games and pool tables. Yeah, true. It's a fucking sweet sweet spot. But um, the cocking on that, it's unreal. It sucks because they brought this dude back from when that happened. That was like in 09 or something. I would go into witness protection. Yeah. <laughs> if that then, fucking happened to me, my name wouldn't exist anymore. Then I was bo- I was bullshitting with Matt, and I was like, there's this thing I, I was watching called uh, Curious Case in Natalia Grace. And it's like this girl, it's kind of like what you got going on with Stevie. She never, she wasn't growing. Yes. So they adopted a girl from Ukraine, and she just didn't. She was a fake, per- she was a fake, little, uh, fake young person. So no, dude, like that's what... <laughs> So that's what they thought. So they start out, the documentary is cool. I mean, I kind of don't want to fucking ruin it for people, but you should go Spoiler check it out. Alert. But in the show, this is the side quest, the side plot of the show. The dude gets cucked into oblivion. Like, and he's crying and shit on the thing. And I'm on like, the, yeah. And I'm like, why are you, why are you making Like, why yeah. are you letting this out? Bro? That's like with the San Diego parents. Like, how are you talking? Right <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude was like crying. This dude's a fucking psychopath. Yeah. I mean, the dude obviously. in this Natalia Gray show is a lot. He's a lying weirdo. That is, he I think thinks anyone that would go on these shows is a fucking lunatic. No, I mean, he, the, he has a show made of him because he's such a lunatic it's not like they it's not like he went on a show it's like the dude from bishop, bishop sycamore no yeah they came <laughs> they came for him because he's such a fucking psycho how'd he get cocked his wife is a slut <laughs> it's the same as fucking that's what happens dude you don't realize you find out yeah like, nah. you don't sit there and go like oh man that's cool i mean i guess this is a new thing they do like to do this but they're pushing it hard normal dudes don't go into it like that then yeah. they just find out in the middle of being married that their wife's a slut and they find text and shit. The chick didn't know how computers worked. Ugh. So they were in a cloud on Google Drive and she didn't know. So like they separated and he was like um, just getting pictures. Nude. Oh. She was, he was getting nudes that she was sending out to dudes. Probably hasn't received a nude in like 10 years too. Hey, dude. It, the funniest line in the show is he's just like, well, she would abuse me sexually. And, you know, not <laughs> everything's physical. A lot of it was withholding it. She would withhold it. Put it on ice. And uh, then he's just like, so I got a wee bit addicted to porn. (laughs) (laughs) Been there, brother. (laughs) And then she would hold hold his porn addiction over his head. This is how demonic they could get. And then she was like, they adopted a little person, and then she started fucking sending nudes to a midget. And I mean, think about finding out about that like years after on camera for whatever the fuck program that was. Yeah, that's demonic. 
Yes. <laughs> These are demonic yeah. fucking I mean, shit. that dude's probably, that dude should burn in, burn in hell in jail. <laughs> I hope that dude gets raped into oblivion in jail. He's that fucking He's up. that, I mean, dude, he would love it because I honestly think he's a closet case. <laughs> don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, he stared up. Is that Netflix? I don't know what it was. I just, um, I found a, I was looking for clips for the intro and I found this dude like just overacting. Yeah. And I was like, this is a documentary. And then I looked into it and it was this Natalia Grace thing. It's like a year old, but yeah. like they tried to hype it up like this chick's a, like she was like a 30 year old midget. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, I vaguely remember this. Yeah. So they get rid of her. Imagine getting adopted, being a little kid. Everyone's just like, you're fucking 30, dude. The, the, the mom was like, fuck you. You're 30. <laughs> she would, she would make her stand still all day until she shit herself. Until she said, really, how old are you and where are you from? First it's of like all, Guantanamo. <laughs> yeah, but first of all, a grown up wouldn't take, even a grown up little person wouldn't take that for, yeah. they wouldn't do it. Like, that's obviously I'm not kind of myself. evidence she's six. <laughs> and fucking, they kicked her out of the house and got her an apartment. And in reality, she was fucking like eight years old. Yeah, this and they is like made a her live horrific version of big. <laughs> yeah, they made her live by herself. And then, so the two parents have the de um, defenders. Like the, there's two like you know like legal defense teams whatever and the ones You're not well versed in the law. <laughs> Your Honor, uh, yeah, there's this black dude and he's just sitting there going like he they won't bring her neither parent will bring her agent in the trial because they're fucked they're cooked yeah obviously. on child abuse six <laughs> and the they're in a, and they're interrogating the girl and the guy's just like so you never called the cops you were getting all this you were left by yourself. In this apartment, and you never call the cops. And she's like, I didn't know I could call the cops. Because <laughs> yeah, she's perfect six year old fucking response. eight, dude. Yeah. They took her phone away from her. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, this is fun. Like, I'm telling you right now. I mean, that shit with RFK and like they're hating on him about like ultra processed foods. And like they just got triggered because they called everyone fat. And it's like, dude. I want someone like that. Like, I want to bring back. Do you remember those fitness? Kennedy had those fitness things. Oh, JFK? JFK had that fitness thing. Like dude. the presidential challenge? Yes. Yeah. It's Bring like, it the fuck back. Dude, it's it's fucked. I could not imagine <laughs> being in school. My Instagram is fucked up. Like, th like it is such a... You put Cheez-Its in my house, I walk around naked like Godzilla, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they run in fear. Little islands. <laughs> yeah, like, RFK is saying he's saying truthful things right now and i do i enjoy that he's with trump obviously yes that makes me happy isn't this a good part of the movie yes this this is sweet this is right before they trick all those people into giving up all their fucking digital ids and going for a social credit score because obviously you're a good proud american i think all this stuff is very this is just fear mongering yeah it's a, it's the tiptoe bro it's exactly this stuff might be coming down the pike 2030 way the, the there, Venezuelans just, in the apartment complexes is like, you're let, like, this is in Aurora. You're uh, the great place. Explain in, my theory I was telling you yesterday. There's play, I mean, I, it's not even a theory. Like, the DNA is a theory. Bl like, black matter or whatever the antimatter matter. is a fucking theory. This is true. The Boward County is a fucking mess. They have school shootings. Aurora, Colorado has the Batman shooting. Dudes in and out goes to fucking jail. They have that. Colorado also has that super prison with all the fucking the Unabomber and all that shit. Yeah. But dude, Jones was saying it too. If me and you went into an apartment complex with what they call long guns and started telling people they kicked. They about rifles? Yes. Okay. They kicked out the fucking property management company. That's an immediate call. Like that's two stars. The minute that happens, two stars on GTA. I'm sorry. I'm getting lost because you never told me what Aurora did. So there's apartment yeah. complex with Venezuelans. Okay. And according to Trump, they're sending everyone from insane asylums. I and, heard it, yeah. Yeah, they're pressure 80 tests. 80 fucking times. Yeah, the guy really, says the same thing every day. Yeah. He's, on a, he's on a campaign right now. Fucking, they're fucked up, obviously. I think this has a lot to do with the migrants. that Because the, the migrants have been coming over here for four years. Dormant. But what they get good cash and a cell phone from the u.s gov and that's uh, like it's a heartbreak when the do you ever see the videos of the poor people seeing the benefits they get yes it hurts bro the sorry people but when you when you come across the darien gap and you try to get into fucking america they put you in a holding tank bro you're in a fucking open that's the other border that's it, their border but no, no no when you're coming in here i thought the darien gap was south down south you go through the darien gap to get here it's a real dangerous like trafficking thing oh, okay but the one dude bald and bankrupt did it and yes. he got to America, but they put you in a holding camp right. for weeks. 
And I think this He's is a Brit, right? Something. He's, I think he is British. They put you in this holding camp. And when they do that, I think they sift these fuckers out to see who wants to play ball. Right. Because there's Chinese motherfuckers. It's Sicario. There's Mexicans, like, all that shit. Yeah. And if you want to play ball, it's like, you're on our fucking team. Just chill for three years. We'll hit you up when we need you. Or you can go back to the fucking cartel that you owe money to and get killed. So these dudes, immediately you're kicking out. The you're fu- going way too fast for me, dude. I'm sorry. sorry. You but, got, you're imagining something and trying to explain yes. it to me. So you're saying that foreign dudes that are in gangs. Yes. Like MS-13. Everything. They're in a holding. They're going to be in this holding thing. When they come over. I the, hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to be in this holding thing. And you're telling me like the Americans are going to sit there and go like that dude. We could use him. Yes. We could use him. The, and then they hook him up. Because that dude from Bald and Bankrupt had to sit there for like a week or something. So right. they're all sitting there. You're being watched by Border Patrol and all this stuff. I think they're weeding these the fucking bad people out and getting them into these disrupting fucking gangs. So now that that was the last four years. Nothing. You don't see stabbings, rapes out of nowhere. Constant stabbings, constant rapes of little kids. Yeah. Little white girls are getting fucking murdered out of fucking nowhere. And then now they're doing this shit where they're taking over Aurora, Colorado. They're going into apartment complex, like a PMC apartment complex, yeah, okay. like we know, right? There we go. right? They go into the front office and they're like, get the fuck out of here. This is ours now. Then the, those people leave. So property management fucking leaves. Yeah. No one calls the cops. Then they go through on video, door to door with guns. You pay us now. If you don't like it, we'll either kill you or you leave. So they're taking over an entire apartment complex. No cops. And nothing's fucking happening. So I just think they're letting them do this stuff. Yeah, I think that the intelligence, or even if it's the FBI, I think the FBI does the assassinations in this country. I think that they own certain places. Yes. And they are stages. Like Newtown. Just stages. (laughs) Yeah. And it's like, we're going to put on a show. The cops would be called. This is in Philadelphia. Yeah. The cops are called immediately. And it's a fucking That's why I couldn't watch that show, The Bear. Everyone's like, you got watch the bear. bear jerked off. This dude. dude fucking, it's first of all, it's like the most brutal kind of, I can try. So I was like, dude, don't let your hang ups. You're not all Anthony Bourdain. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. <laughs> I tried to watch Anthony Bourdain. So like, Parts unknown? Time has, the world has changed so much. Mm-hmm. No reservation. Unwatchable. Why? Dude, just the style of the show. Oh yeah. You don't like it. I mean, have you ever tried to watch it? When it was out. <laughs> I, yeah, mean, I haven't went back to it. It's really fucking weird. Yeah, I mean, he was up to weird shit. No, not even that. I'm just saying, like, it's a the, the way they made the show. It's so dated. Oh yeah, that you're yeah. like, it's you're like, I can't watch it. <laughs> you know, I, what I mean? I'm a DDD guy. What's that? Diners, dives, and drives. Oh okay, yeah, I guy for Harry. Yeah, yeah, but fucking, what the hell were we just talking about before that? Why were we talking about it? Oh, this bear. Oh uh, yeah, well, this guy shoots a fucking gun, and there's like a line of kids to play a video. This is episode one. I tried to get there. Mm-hmm. And there's these kids that are going to try to play like a video game tournament, like a stand up video game tournament. And that's like a suit. This is all like super hipster shit. And I get triggered from it. It just fucking piss me off. And I watch it. And then this, scared white boy. this dude's like not a scared white boy in, sh- in Chicago shoots a gun in the sky to get everyone's attention. Yeah. Hey, man, if you're in any major metropolitan area in the United States and you should gu- shoot a gun in the sky, citizens, cops are there in like two minutes. Uh, yeah, at unle- least unless it's like the hood and they know exactly who did it because everybody's on fucking camera. I live in the hood, dude. If there's gunshots, it's within. I'll be watching TV. It'll be like bam, 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 and I go, oh, man, I wonder if that was it's like lightning and yep. thunder. <laughs> and then like not that. Like, and the dude, they do it with just lights, no sound, yeah, no sirens. Cops roll. So, dude, there I've seen cops roll with the lights off, yep. all lights off, roll around my neighborhood at night. Oh yeah, it's fucking spooky. Yeah, but for some, uh, it's weird. It's like. This shit happens in Aurora, Colorado, and then no, like nothing happens. And then they talk to the mayor, either of Aurora or the governor of Colorado, or whatever. He goes, "Dude, this is a real bad look. You guys are putting on the migrants that are coming here." Yeah, dude. So stop being dicks. Like it's literally. I loose. think we were getting taken over by communists. <laughs> I think they're trying. I mean, you know they, what I mean? This like, is a definite. I think like, this is like a forty-year plan, fifty-year plan they've had. Dude, fucking. This G- is before my time. I think I got dry. I think I respawned in the middle of this invasion. Yes. GTV yeah. fucking said this shit. He said the communist. Gwo? Ch- yes. Okay. Before you watch the Hunter Biden yeah. get a foot job from maybe his fucking niece. <laughs> maybe that has never been confirmed. Yeah. I'll wait for four more years after they show that part of the laptop. But in the beginning, there was a long ass video and it was like every politician, every fucking star, yeah. Cena, LeBron James, everyone is fucking yeah, beholden to the sea, to China. Yeah, because it really is. Even on the other side, the flip side of it, it's like you're sitting there, and 
you really are like why why is trump doing this trump yeah. literally could just be playing golf all day yeah. trump's selling cards now i know baseball digital card. cards no baseball card real cards oh i'm with that i thought yeah. he was just doing digital no they're real baseball cards yeah i was watching um i think it was him and uh what interviews did he do oh the sean ryan sean ryan he said uh he was he he was talking about the country. He was talking about Biden. And he was like, I you know I think uh, I ran the company better than him. And it's like he slipped up. He said country, but it's like, dude, that's exactly right. Yeah, he's just the face of a company. Yes, the real guys are in the basement. We yeah, know this. Yeah, <laughs> the craziest in the basement. I just going guess- back to that. I was reading. There's this um. There's this article that's in the foreign affairs thing about what to do with good ally with uh, troublesome allies. Allies. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> no, like allies when they're not really like pen, like how America has handled the Israelis, yeah, yeah, the Ukraine, like stuff well, like people. Biggest ally. Yeah, but um, there George H. W. Bush was hard on him. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, they got nine eleven because of that. And um, he told him to stand down against that. They got attacked by Saddam because I I can't remember the art. Like I read I read a lot of it all, all at once, <laughs> so I don't retain it too good, but. They got attacked, and then they were like, "We have to show force." Yeah, and but it was just bait. Like fucking Saddam was like, "Dude, all I, all I got to do is fucking shoot these guys, and this yeah, this shit'll pop off." Spaz the fuck off. off. But then um, HW made them stand down. So we used to be in that tier. If you're wondering if the the tail wags the dog, you know yeah, what I mean? obviously, yeah. Like now. HW was like holding tight. Tight they, ship. Yeah, they got brutal video. Like, I th- I swear to God, I'm with you on your world is a stage thing because everything that comes out immediately just gets an emotion. It's not even a, like, oh, that was informative or that's that's good to read. It's just it immediately gets you on an emotional fucking level. And, I started and then read- they can fuck with you. I started reading this thing where um, I can't remember what it was, but it was like, they pages. did a, they did a, um, I mean, dude, you could try it. I gave it's you a impossible. book. I gave you a book. Um, <laughs> there's a fucking thing with a study where they said they think it's something like 5% of the people do the thinking and 95% of the people borrow those ideas. Yes. And it's like, so if you could just trick everyone into being, you can literally just like, here's the stage. There's an, literal NPCs. They have bank accounts. You want to go get it. You can go create a fucking malaria outbreak, fear-mongering thing. Yes. Sell supplements at the same time. You can go get people to get vaccinated. These are all games you're playing down here, but we live up here, dude. Yes. Like, we shouldn't Near even Near infinity. Be, we shouldn't even be bothered by any of this. Not at like, all. Like, it's not a loose farm, dude. Like, we have the light. Like yeah. it's to show our ancestors how goat we are, not to get sucked into this fucking mundane I'm with shit. That. I'm with you know, that. I'm not gonna go get sucked into like somebody rubbing their hands to go fucking do a psyop to go get paid. Like, yeah. you know, like Twenty Three and Me in that one article, it was like there was a fucked up study. It really made no sense, and basically, it wasn't like Jewish people and black people like getting the bioengineered. Remember when RFK Jr. said it was like bioengineered yeah. to attack like Jews and blacks. You were more at risk if you were a dude than a girl. And the one guy was the one guy in the study was Jewish and the woman was black. And that's what he based that. That's what he was bullshitting on a table. Yeah, they hot mic'd him on that. Hot mic'd him on that and fucking used it. But that's all part of the show. Like you're up here. Yeah. Like, this is just some show the fucking for the for the for the fucking plebs, dude. dude they, you know what I mean? Like they're, uh, Trump's selling fucking baseball cards, man. It's fu- it's fucking over. And then <laughs> when I was reading the, with the military stuff, like the CFR, they're talking about terminators, like, like actual coming down the pike. Yeah. Oh my god, bro, that would be so fucking. Yeah, there's Chinese chicks. Like they're rolling out that um, those robot girls. Yeah, first that's it just, starts as all fun and games. And that's you can just have the sex tea. With the girl. <laughs> that's the original tea. They explain how the Pagina works. I don't think they have them, dude. Guess you can't fuck it. <laughs> I thought that's what it was for. No, they're fucking for work. I mean, attractive. <laughs> Why are you going to do that to the workplace? You're going to get a work husband and a work wife. I don't know. I just, way, hey, bro. Bill, I just read an article about how the U.S.'s uh, tactic of shock and awe is no more. Yeah. I mean, the, the, now it's all AI drones, a lot of AI. Yeah. That's, AI is coming. You can't stop it. I wish we could have some fun with it. Like, I want them to make, L-O-T-R. I want them to stop. And just make it work. Give me the word for word. I've seen him do it with like. Uh, I just want a final. You were right on the writers' room, dude. I, we're not laughing at the fact that you said that, and it's like we know it's right. 
Hearts on my sleeve, dude. <laughs> you just talked about it like you were there. I could have been. I could have been. Yeah, I'm not going to deny your truth, dude. But I'll, if they could just give me a Lord of the Rings, an actual, if they could do like a real AI, yeah, it would be good. Instead of this like, where's Tom Bombadil? Yeah. Like, <laughs> just give me the book. And, but like I read it, like read the book to me, like an audible, but with an AI visualization. Something you can put on the projector. I'll give you my biometrics if this has come down. The yeah, you'll face ID me, whatever yeah. the fuck you want. Yeah, but dude, like that's what I was saying about like all that uh, stupid ass like living down here. It's like they made Lord of the Rings, and it's literally just to get people to talk online about it. So you th- throw well, a few black saying, elves. You were saying you can get paid for engagement. That's all. It, it's so all. If they make clips. a regular old. If they make a regular old LOTR for the real fans, yeah, they know that's just the regular fans they already have. Yeah, got to branch out. They die every day. Yeah. <laughs> they got to get fucking new <laughs> ones. Chuck Black Elves. Yeah. That, like, I literally, like, they definitely do that shit just to fuck around with people's heads. Because if not, it's just like, oh, yeah, new Lord of the Rings, and they got everyone they fucking need. Well, yeah, that, and then the thing I was thinking about with the 5% of the people or whatever, that whole thing about thinking the dead internet theory, it's oh, literally, yeah. like, that's not really, like, that far-fetched. The world's kind of dead. Yeah. And it would suck to be someone that can't think. I mean, there's no but new like, I'm ideas sorry. if you're fucking doom scrolling t- TikTok and fucking Instagram. I'm starting to think that might be a lot of people. <laughs> I don't think I don't meet a lot. I don't see a lot of people. I don't do a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, but but you're definitely you. Uh, what are you? You're trying to fucking trick me right now? No, no, no I'm saying like you're <laughs> definitely like you're a fucking person. Yeah. There's so many. I'm a person. Yeah. I went to the Derek Trucks band, and I swear to God, it was like a Madden fucking <laughs> stadium of the same dude over and yeah, over. Yeah, they're again. creative. It's like we're a creative player. Yeah, and then there's dudes in the crowd. This is. I mean, I just fucking saw it. It yeah. was fucking insane. And like, dude, the way they were. If you all- start thinking, <laughs> who is why? Who is this for? It's not for you. It's for them. There's definitely others. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're talking about like Archons? Well, no, I'm just saying like they're making, if they make something that's so alien for you and you're watching it, like yeah. clothes or whatever it is, yeah. and you're just like, oh, dude, that's like, that's for another creative player. Yeah. Like, not me. Your <laughs> shit was already fucking made. <laughs> My yeah. shit's toast. Yeah. The, fu- the other shit that was fucking killing me was like, did you see Jack White? No. Nah. Bro. I, d- I can't, I don't even have this much hate for Biden. I hate him. Like Jack White came out again. Shouldn't have brought up that fucker bod. (laughs) Like that shit literally pisses me off. That my blood boil. Like the people look you dead in the eye. Like the economy's never been better, and they all based off the fact that he took it over in the beginning. They all lie straight to your face, dude. Well, they they know like people are just on a fucking. Kamala just came out and they had to say we were just pumping shit up about Project Twenty Five. It's not Trump's idea. Yeah, but they're all their shit is so fucking vibey. It's like joy, demure, mindful. Oh, chill with that. Chill with that. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what they're doing. Yeah, they try. They definitely have gotten people. That's into, liberal, bro. Oh, bro, <laughs> I, that's I'm not with it. Like it, that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like Jack White came out with a paragraph saying Trump's like a fascist and stuff. Like yeah, that. Mark Hamill's making fun of his dick. Pull it the fuck out, <laughs> dude. Stand next thing. to Trump. That's my thing, Luke. Dude. Use the force, bro. Like pull go, your penis. <laughs> go stand next to Trump. Don't even show us. Just go face to face. It's, Let's, dude. We'll know in two seconds by facial reaction. Yeah, there you just they, go like head up. Won't we'll watch you guys play Tommy Six. Like, yeah, pull there, it out. there was an app, and I think this would be the most honest way to do it. There was an app. I don't know if it still exists called Be Real. You familiar? Fucking Reggie. You good? Yeah. <laughs> there was an app called Be Real. And yeah, yeah. You would get a notification. It's like if you're real, you'll take a picture right now. And oh, I think okay. that's how they should do the. That's a dance. crazy. That's like a Pokemon Go psyop. Yeah. So like yeah. everyone was taking pictures. I think Mark Hamill and Trump at some point in the day, notification picture. That's your what day. I'm saying. It's hard for me to. I this is a, like a new thing that my my mind's been doing to me. But this like all the world is stage thing with combined with like dude like this thing is this thing is a fake control mechanism for the games that people play. Yeah. You know, like, this is just, you don't need, this is, none of this is real in life. No. <laughs> and I mean, like, corporations, fucking, I, dude, they're I have doing this stuff. my mom constantly. <laughs> they're doing stuff that might affect your life, but, like, only if you choose to make it your yeah. fucking life. Dude. Play their fucking game. Yeah, like, there's, they don't own you. These, all of, both sides of these psyops, like, you're under mercantile law. Yeah. You belong to the Vatican. <laughs> like, none of this is real, dude. No, I don't. Like, no, you don't. 
they had to make up some kind of identification thing because there's just too many fuckers around. Yeah, I mean that's that's how they get people with all the, like the flags and shit like that. They're, yeah, they're like, season. oh man, like this is crazy. Then there's no millennials and Gen Zs. Like their social security is gonna run out. It's like, dude, they just print money. What are you talking? about? <laughs> they just make up money. They're yeah. not gonna stop this. Obviously, there's people. We that just gave Ukraine billions of dollars, and somehow it social security is gonna fucking fall. make it up, dude. <laughs> yeah, money is fake. They, like, think about, like, when they take L's on movies, and then that dude gets to make another movie. Yeah. That's, Have you ever looked into any of this kind of stuff? Like, how it's like a, like, there's a, Jurassic, money? like, there's another Jurassic Park coming out. So these things are not cheap. No. And it's with Maharashi Ali from True Detective. Purple? Purple. <laughs> yeah. And fucking Scarlett Johansson. And it's going to be based on, guess what? Climate change. The diet. We have ruined, dude. We. <sighs> Even the new cooling di- or warming, bro. Even the new dinosaurs, <laughs> they can't live in be- because we changed the climate. Shut they, the fuck up. They're going extinct. So it's like it's called Jurassic Park rebirth, and it's like they're going extinct because we fucked up the climate within from the time of ninety three with the original park. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Shut so they the have fuck to be up. in bubbles. They have like they still have dinosaurs, but they're in the, like their own little environments that are like bubble boys. Oh my god, dude! But ScarJo is like she's gonna be like an so espionage. Hot. It's like an espionage thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, dude. <laughs> I get, and that's what I'm saying. I'm trying, young ScarJo, young Scar. I'm trying to live above the shit. When they sit there and talk about climate change, it makes no fucking sense to me. And the fucking that World Economic Forum paper, it say there's going to be eco anxiety. Yeah, dude. So the what world, the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, people are killing themselves because they're freaked out about the future. They they don't want to have kids. So it's, these are all psyops. These like depopulation psyops. But just look yeah. at it. Like they, here's a little club of nerds, the World Economic Forum, and they're rubbing their hands and they're playing like this like evil game. Yes. And, if no one pays attention to it, they just become a bunch of people. Bunch of weirdos. Just a bunch of weirdos. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? It's like, just, I just don't know how to put it any other way in my mind. I, Where it's like, dude, they, they don't have all this kind of power. None. They just got they're, the net. They're just doing media. These are just like. they're all. You're saying they're all signal. They're all signal, dude. Like the <laughs> real people that are running shit, you don't know who they are. Yeah, why would you? Why would like you don't know the black nobility? I've seen eighteen fucking different, like the thirteen fl- like families yeah, and all that shit. I've seen that. like different ones. Like you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. All of my knowledge is from screenshots. I do want to. Th- I do think that from maybe from the times of Christ, some of those Italian families are around. I was walking around the Vatican. I asked the dude. I go, dude, are these noble? Are these aristocrats still around there? Like, yeah. So like the Pizos and like the families. The families that created Christ, like the fucking concept of Christ, <laughs> these fucking people are still around. Now, I was listening to Jones, and he was saying, like, fucking Pope Francis just came out and was like, dude, it is a grave sin to di- deny migrants. Okay, cool, man. Are the fucking walls around the Vatican really 10 stories tall? Jones said some of them are like 100 feet. No, like, but eh, maybe. So the I smallest one's 60. I only saw... That's a load of shit. This like the smallest, I would say forty. That's sixty is huge. I know. He's saying there's one twenty. There might be. I mean, I only saw two, so I only saw a corner of it, and okay. then there might be other ones. But at the entrance, it's not sixty feet. Yeah, that like that, I know a sixty foot ladder is fucking massive. That's we scary. would get a basket instead of a ladder. I had to climb up a sixty foot ladder to get roofers to drop a dumpster one time, and I was like, I'll just fucking champ it. And I got yeah. like a three quarters of the way up, and I was like, I. We used to have a sixty. Mistake. We used to have a forty eight and a sixty, and they were both three piece ladders, and like we never yeah. used them. So like the rope on it. So this is back just dry in rotted. <laughs> little back in my day, <laughs> we used to have like a different kind of metal. I so like aluminum. You work there, cupcake. <laughs> a, a lot of the metals changed since I was a kid, so that there was this shit called magnetic magnesium and something ladders they were light as a feather and that has to be criminal to put that 60 feet they would no they would never be 60 footers the, the 48 and the 60 were made of another metal that was like galvanized it was like oh. a galvanized it was heavy as fuck fuck dude that's yeah we had this mexican shit. dude juan built like tyson dude he was fucking he had like a, a shark's back yeah, yeah and he could do it he could throw it up but everyone any like other galvanized fucking ladder is dangerous, bro. It was a three part ladder, so and it's all like ropes. And then when the ropes would break, my old boss was so cheap, we would just get clothes on. So, like, it, dude, <laughs> bro, I used to build sick. scaffold with one plank 13, 14 high. What would you rather? Scaffold all day long. I hate ladders, yeah. I don't trust ladders, they bounce. So, like, yeah, at least scary. with scaffold, 
I'm surfing on kind of like a, a like I'm on a structure. Yeah. That's like moving. Wider surface area. When you're on a ladder, like you bounce, it takes fucking nothing for this thing to go. Yeah. You it's know what I mean? Like you, you climbing a ladder. So like if you put up a really high ladder, like if you get in the forties and you start walking up it, like Savage laughs at me cause I'm scared, but like, dude, <laughs> Say you have a, so we put, use pivots. Yeah. You fuck with pivots. Yeah. Like yeah. A wedge. Yep. Yep. So we level it. Now they make ladders with foot levelers. Sweet. I told you I wanted that little giant one. That, that thing's sick. the shit. That's sick. They, the sumo stance, all that stuff. Yeah. That none of that shit existed. So we used to put like rocks or pivots underneath it, but like you would cl- start climbing the ladder. Everything's cool. Cause like all the pressure's down low. Yeah. You get to the middle of the ladder. Wait, you want me to stop talking about this? No, no, I'm uh, listening. It's just scary. It starts, boun- <laughs> it, it starts to one. bounce, yeah. right? So now Like you, a wave. Yeah, you're going like this, because <laughs> yeah. uh, if it's all the way stretched out, pause, and then you're sitting there just going like, and you're climbing up it, and then it starts to it starts yeah, to move. It dances. Just a couple inches, but your shit's on a pivot. So down at the bottom, you're sitting there going- <laughs> So scary, So you're dude. one foot, dude, you're one foot on your ladder, might not even be touching, and you're just painting, and then now I'm leaning on- This is to do like a fucking $1,300 cornice, <laughs> You know what I mean? Your life is in jeopardy. And then it's like, you got to get up there and prep shit. You got to yeah. like get busy and fucking sand shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, anytime we would have to do shit on fucking lifts, wall, we would have to take That's down. That's why I, I love lifts. They're not good. Like, they're good. Obviously, it's the only thing you can fucking use for demo. But like, when you start like taking down big sections of a wall with a lift, dude, if you hit the boom, it's yeah. over, bro. <laughs> I mean, dude, we, our boss was so cheap. We had a JLG and, uh, it never got serviced. It was an 85. We had it all the way boomed out to work. So we were working at 54th and or 56 in Chester, which was the hood back in the early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like it's we Southwest. had to bondo, we had to bondo the um, church doors because there was bullet holes in it. <laughs> but during the day, it was a school. We were parked, we were in the parking lot of the school. We had it all the way boomed out. There's this thing called a limit switch. It's like a, it's like a stick. Yeah. That, that connects the boom to the machine. Mm-hmm. It was bent. It just stopped. It just wasn't touching. So the boom got stuck, and I had to climb down an eighty-five foot boom just holding onto it like a treat. Like, oh, dude, yeah. that makes my. Was it you that it just fell out? What do you mean? Was that your company where it just the boom fell out of the thing? No. Oh yeah, there was some supposedly someone I knew. They had like you know you can like boom out on the lift. Oh no, that can't fall out. It came out. And That's just insane. fell down. It was I didn't some know dude, that could even happen. It was some dude who bought his own, just didn't do his own maintenance, <laughs> yeah. and the thing literally pooped itself out. Yeah, I didn't even know that could happen. I don't find the the high shit. Mm. I don't. I don't mind it, but it is if you get like a hundred twenty land on lifts, dude. Fuck that shit. It's kind of like you know, like you're saying that one trucker dude saying he saw the black dog. For me, at least, it's one of those things where you're fearless when you're young. Oh yeah, and mortality is like, not on your fucking mind, bro. And you, the more so, you're doing all this great stuff. Like I used to be like a ninja up there, and then it's just like. No, I don't even have any anything to really live for, and I still don't want to fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, you I got work to do. I got shit to do, and I'm like, no, I'm like, no, not not today, not done yet. But I still like, if I go up there now, I'm way more aware of the danger. When I was younger, I was just like, I got this. I, I have done this before, but the, I feel like it's one of those things. Like the more you do it, the more you can realize what can go wrong. That's why I used to look. Yeah. I used to look over at my dad, like we, like to demo a warehouse. We would cut a fucking hole in the middle of the warehouse and just dump like yeah, four yeah, stories, dump every like all. We had to take down um, big ass tanks out of a fucking brewery, yeah. so we would burn them and then get the dingo and push it in the middle. And my dad would spaz constantly. I'd look at him like, dude, fuck off, man. I'm just fucking doing this. But if that like a nut hold up, held on to that, it's over. It's I'm over. Done. Yeah, yeah. But I I didn't think about it for a second. I was throwing shit down by hand, like big ass pieces of steel, just down by hand, not even thinking about it. Now, fuck that shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. I think there should be a barrier around it and everything. It's fucking scary as shit. Yeah, it's fucked up. But I mean, better off just worrying about who to vote for, and you know. Well, I still would like to get out a twenty four foot sumo stance, little giant, the lightweight fiberglass, and just see what it, I wish somebody had. I know the cable company. Go to a shit. tool company or go cable to a tool company show, down. dude. I'm telling you, they're still they're out now. Regular people have them. Like the Comcast guys have them. Well, I'm saying there's probably something even better that you could fucking get. Nah, that's good. Sumo stance is good. Dude. That's a fu- it's a. Na- I mean, I agree with you. It's a nasty ladder. I never liked little giants to fold up ones because they're too heavy for what they're worth. I'll just yeah. get a little. They're little jerked off. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's the one thing with us. We never had good ones. All of our ladders were fucked because of demolition. They're just destroyed ladders. Yeah, and you're yeah. constantly on them, fucking hanging from shit. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to ask you about um, what do you call it? The Telegram dude. 
But so all these guys get citizenships everywhere. Yeah. And he's got a what the fuck is Saint Kitts? Everybody look it up. <laughs> Blazarian has it. Blazarian. They have, they have citizen, Yeah, yeah. So I guess if you're like a fucking naughty boy, you can just they'll give you a if you have money, I think you can just go get a citizenship. It's in the West Indies. I think you can just go buy like a Absolutely. passport. You buy a passport basically. Yeah, if you have a ton of money and you want to go to St. Kitts, I think you can. He started doing that crazy. Remember when I was telling you about that dude who um donated sperm, that funny guy? Yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. That he does the telegram dude's doing the same thing. He's donating He's got sperm. like over a hundred kids. I mean, say <laughs> that's your bag, dude. Fucking He's an ascetic. What's that? He just fucking meditates. He's, no sex. He shredded. I don't know about sex, but oh. it's like you don't. It's you like yearn for things of this plane. Marcus Aurelius shit, dude. He's just like fucking <laughs> meditating all day, man. Yeah, I don't know why they're fucking going so hard on him. Unless it's that shit you were saying where it's like all Ukrainians are on it and the Russians want his ass. I think that both sides, the commies and the West now, are going to take away. Made by the same squad. They're all going to take away free speech now. That Yeah, and that's, we're that's the airplane, brother. I know it's the airplane, but I think it's just going to be your face. It's face IDs. You know what's fucking a uh, nice tidbit? Face ID doesn't work if you're wearing the Raws. I don't know. Every, like, I heard my cousins complaining about how the, the, they're like, oh, my face ID doesn't work on my phone. I was like, people actually use this? Everyone does. It's fucking terrifying. Yeah. They, it just Do you like, have it? Yeah, I have face ID. You use it. I'm fucked, dude. You always give away your biometrics, bro. Kill me. <laughs> you can't do anything with it, assholes. Kill me. <laughs> like, what are you going to do with my fucking face scan? If you really, like, if it comes down yeah. to it and you really start coming at me for shit I said, yeah. I'm shooting you. Life's over. Everything's fucked. I'm going on a shooting spree. If the cops come and say, give us your phone, we want to see the you're, fucking pictures. You're just talking about your dreams, dude. No, I just I went on a shooting spree and every headshot I got the Undertaker theme music fucking app and I woke up scared. I dude, dude, dreams, dude, any fucking time I wake up in the middle of the night, immediately the first thing I think of is now it's time. I wonder why you had someone's these hyper violent dreams. Someone's man. breaking into my house. We will find out soon. We will get to the bottom of this very soon, bro. Six six days in the fucking check unit. It's gonna be. I don't know. I'm like, where I hit the dream realm. It's Looney Tunes for sure, but we're not on killing sprees. Dude. I very rarely have violent. It things was for in my good. Dreams. I'm not. He was hitting a woman. Whether or not it's for good. I mean, dude, you're a sheepdog. What can you say? Yeah. My, <laughs> my mom, like, she finally caught wind of this, I guess, somehow from my brothers or something. But she was like. Now you're going to the Dream Institute? What are you doing there? Uh -huh. Do you still have night terrors? It's like, no, nah, just sleep paralysis and fucking dreams. I wonder, if, I wonder if you're like someone, because you get treated so weird. Like, I wonder if you're kind of like actually like one of those kids from like the Omen or something. Chill. And your mom has been like. <laughs> Trying to keep you in check, you're like all, Bart like, in the attic. You're actually like pure fucking evil, and you don't even Chill. know. You know what that I mean? happened to me when I was on mushrooms. Like and you're like, actually Satan's kid. And Wait the fuck? Whoa, yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Maybe your mom's like worried, like what it's gonna get activated. But I like doing here. nice stuff and hanging out with friends. I fucking dream and nothing, literally never violent. Oh god, I, it's not even fucking violent. They're just absurd. Like they're absolutely insane. I mean, you're doing headshots. And they're vivid. I just got arrested by the police, and I was like looking into my phone. My whole vibe. I almost went into sleep paralysis while sleeping. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck the is dream. That's Inception. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck's going on. But my mom's like, "What are you doing there?" I was like, "It's just like a thing where they track your sleep and stuff like that." She's like, "Are you doing drugs?" No, I'm not doing drugs. <laughs> I, like, I, am. I know it sounds fucking. It's insane. run by the CIA. Yeah, mom. I'm not doing any drugs. I'm just fucking. I drugs. hope they get. I hope they fucking tap me on the shoulder, man. I'm like Bill, we've been waiting for you. That's what I think about all the time. Yeah. I think about it in everything I do. If they're ever. like, I you think are the best one ever created. You might be able to remove you. I would fucking love that. That'd Even if it was a lie, dude. <laughs> Just fucking. I mean, those guys say it's real. And they shit on it. But I they're also the same guys that are saying where aliens are coming. I know. Aliens is one of the only things I could see of them. That's like a ripcord where they're like, dude, check it out. Hit project, blue light, whatever the fuck it blue is. Blue beam. Blue beam. Yeah. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. That's pure fucking chaos. You could create an absolute chaos with fucking aliens. I thought about this. That's like a nuke. It's like a psyop yeah, nuke. It's over. You're yeah. fucking thinking someone's coming from space. I think about this <laughs> shit a lot. Yeah. I just had like, if I'm chilling. I kind of think they're in the ocean. That NASA started in the ocean, so that's not a bad theory. I think of, we have time, right? And this is just, this has nothing to do with anything. These are just I thoughts mean, dude, I fucking I can't have. even. We exist in time. Yeah. Slow-ish compared to everything. If you think about the existence of the universe, it's a fucking speck. 
But if you really wanted to fucking learn something, instead of you're living this infinite reality where there's no time, this slows everything down. It's like play guitar. So you have to fucking learn piece by piece. So you understand it so intimately that when you get back to whatever the fuck you're actually doing, yeah, you understand it completely. And I thought of the same stuff with like how insane they're going with psyops and trying to fucking trick you. If you're every day, you're on the phone seeing all this stuff. Then you go back to just base reality. You're getting, you're the getting primer. into the, you're getting into what I was trying to say, dude. Like when I used to draw, it's like, here's a, here's a, here's a cast. Yeah. It's gonna. This is gonna be a three-hour session. You're gonna do this four more fucking times. <laughs> that slows talent down a lot. Big time, bro. The way that they've sped up everyone's, not even saying like time, but like how much you're Shit's what going into you're your going head. through. Like what's changing for you? Yeah. You can slow time down by a lot if you have fifty beats a minute, dude. It will make it grueling to exist. <laughs> or just real experiences. Yes. Like, I went to Egypt for three days. I'll remember those three days probably for the rest of my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? If everything goes good. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, like, you can do, you don't have to go to Egypt for that. Yeah. You can put the fucking BPMs on. You can, you can take the clockwork orange fucking psyop that you're holding around in your pocket all day long. Yeah. And stop staring into the light. Like, that fucking app that I had that was like, you can hallucinate with the light. That's, Literally fucking MK Ultra. I thought, I think, uh, were you talking to me about this? Like, they can get your eyes tired. They can kind of trick you into shit. Yeah, you can hypnotize. That's what the whole point of the hypnotism is. Yeah. With, like, you're sitting there going, like, watch the very fucking. Sleepy. Yeah, very, very sleepy. <laughs> it's actually, that's actually just a trick to wear your eyes out. It's because you're way more suggestible if your eyes are fucking tired. Yeah, it's the same thing for me. If like you start thinking about swallowing or breathing, you notice it a lot. Next yeah. time you're on your phone, start paying attention to your eyes going up and down, dude. It'll drive you fucking insane. Because the whole time you're scrolling, your eyes are going up yeah. and down. And you're just completely destroying your fucking eye strength. And yeah, then, I mean, I'm used to watching movies and stuff. So I've watched a lot of shows and everything. But when you're watching a movie, you're looking at like the whole screen. You're chilling far back from it. When you're on your phone, it's literally up and down over and over and over again to like literally you're getting hypnotized. I don't think people I've, I've tried to watch movies with people like in the last couple of years and stuff, maybe dates in my house, who knows? And <laughs> you put on a TV, little this, little that. <laughs> like I put on Blade Runner and I know it's not a fucking fast paced thriller, Yeah, yeah. but it's a sick ass fucking movie. Agreed. But I don't think people can sit without playing with their fucking phones. It's there. And then if you're trying to show someone a movie and then they start playing with your phone, it's like super disrespectful. I mean, it's it's like, we're not getting off on the good foot here. (laughs) I mean, it's the same thing as showing someone a song and they tap the YouTube video. Like, like, actually, this is about transhumanism. (laughs) Why'd you tap it? The song's going on right now. Who cares if it's fucking four minutes? Why'd you tap the screen? Yeah. But I'm trying to show you this. Just watch the whole solo. It doesn't make sense why you would tap the screen. Yeah. Don't you care about what I like? <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. To yeah, watch. I remember uh, talking to my uncle Charlie. Like towards the end of his life, he was doing um Asperger's kids, oh. and he was like, he, like he's not breaking any confidential shit or whatever. But yeah. he was also like, what are you gonna when do you do them? when you do therapy with them, they'll only do it if you agree. If they they make a deal, their terms. Like, <laughs> they make they bring their terms and like you have to you have to go into their world at the end like for like fifty like we're gonna spend ten or fifteen minutes in yeah. in your world yes. and be it trains be it guitar solos yeah true fifty beats Skunk per minute Baxter minutes. talking about <laughs> yeah. fucking his solo on Steely Dan it's really interesting honestly <laughs> what kind of a amp were you using on that that also literally. before we get anywhere else I mean could you plug into the road and like give people a taste of it, your BPMs it's so shitty that i wouldn't matter i wouldn't put people fucking through that one day if once i get through modern method we're all what do they say like i'm not a finished product or whatever we're all works in progress yeah yeah yeah. it's like a t-shirt i need some attitude these dude i got nothing i'm dog shit i'm in the fucking first position still once i get through modern method i will fucking start to branch out and play what i want but dude if thomas fujito is saying that John Mayer was fucking up when he was 19 and he gave him the modern method book to get the technicality, <laughs> right, dude? I'm good. I'll, I, it, I'm did, in the modern method where I'm at. It usually takes people a year. I've started in January, so I'm a little ahead of the curve and I'm going to be dead honest. Haven't been trying that hard. Did you see that 60 Minutes Australia where the people have like 
speech problem. They get like little mini strokes or something. They start having speech problems, but they sound like they have accents from other countries. No. I'll try to find this for you. Just keep talking. It's I like mean, hanging out with any British person for a week. Dude, I really want you to. I really, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I'm just getting. Oh, dude, in my notes, I forgot to tell you. Okay. The Boeing astronauts are looking at eight months. Still up there. They're still You there. were supposed to be there. You mushed them, dude. <laughs> I went to the launch. They canceled the launch. I was at Cave Canaveral. I have a picture of it to prove it. Um, they were supposed to go. Did for you tamper an, with it? They were supposed to go for an eight day trip. I don't it, think Boeing needs my help, dude. Yeah, true. The future of the skies is black, not, not white dudes. Yeah, not us. Um, driving yeah. <laughs> Denali Ultimate Duramax, please. Not getting on an airplane. Fuck yeah, so you. they were only supposed. They were supposed to be up there for eight days. Now they got. Now they're looking at eight months. How are they grubbing? How are they supposed to survive? Space food. Yeah, is dude. that fake? Hey man, I saw a picture. Comes in a bag. I saw a fucking meme where it was a picture of the moon from Earth. Yeah. The moon's like this big. Yeah. And then it was a picture of the Earth from the moon. Small as fuck. And the Earth's small as fuck. Makes no sense, dude. (laughs) It makes no fucking sense. No, that's what you don't understand because it goes through something that we have no idea what it is. So it makes it small. Nothing pisses me. I don't, commenters, I feel so sad for. It's rough. And that tier of some the- dude spazzed because we put Ike on fucking Patreon, and then Ike released the whole thing. I was like, "Here you go, dude." Well, I mean, dude, this is a life. Read Ike's books, and maybe you want to act like that. It's a life, like, dude. Faggot. That's what you're doing with this turn, and that's cool. And I know it can be fun, but like, nothing actually like makes me bothers me more than people that like really defend the moon. Yeah, really yeah. defend the moon landing. It's <laughs> yeah. like, dude, what are you on? Like, like you know, it's NASA, bro. Like none of us know. Yeah, it's space, dude. Like y'all so unexplored. <laughs> that that's what pisses me off. Like that's with fucking everything. Yeah. Like even with COVID, people are like, no. Actually, the way mRNA is like, dude, are you a bioengineer? No, fuck you. You have no idea what the fuck's going on. You can't sit there and be like, no, actually, the moon, as if it's your next door neighbor, dude. You've never been there. You don't even know how long it actually takes. But there's You're just going based off what liars say. There's something. Well, they get really pissed if you say Kubrick had anything to do with it, and then yeah. there's it's something the else where it's like. I I read one this morning and it was like, um, I can't remember it. It just pisses this, the level of snark with it is high. It's it's unreal. And I mean, it's, it's like fucking, uh, destiny on Wikipedia shit. Cause you get dudes giving you paragraphs about how the moon works. Like, dude, you could have just Googled that. Like you're not pulling this out of your fucking pocket. Nick Bryan had one of the founders of uh, Wikipedia on. I didn't watch it yet. Really? Yeah. I mean, he's not there anymore. No, I don't think so. I mean, I, Destiny's such a fraud because when I went to school and we had to do papers, you couldn't use Wikipedia. It wasn't a credible source. Yeah, you couldn't. Well, it was like kind of like Substack and Medium and shit. Like anybody can get and, on there, but anyone now it's can edit it. now it's controlled, dude. Now, By the ADL. Now they're good. Yeah, they're. I mean, I don't know. They're. I think they're speaking of David Ike's the trap. I think they're literally trying to trap people on the internet because fucking Dan Blazarian and Candace Owens are saying really crazy stuff. <laughs> They're going so hard. I think they're just trying to. It's, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is, what sorry. the fuck was that? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why they're like. I understand, but like, out of like, you're forty fucking eight or whatever, and you're just coming across this stuff. Crushed. Crushed. Okay, let's try reading. Doctor Nick Miller from England's Newcastle University. Sorry, sixty minutes was that stupid fucking music. Yeah, on they it, like the fucking. It's a regular people. ass looking chick, and she's like, "Oh shit about that." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just woke up sounding Chinese. It's like called a foreign accent syndrome. I wish some people dude. sound like they're from Eastern Europe and stuff like that, but they're just all Sarah Australian. Spent most of her life in Plymouth and had the accent to match <laughs> until recently. Fish and chips. Three and a half years ago, she was rushed into hospital with a migraine. This is old as fuck. Which left yeah. her with a voice she didn't recognize. I have not actually heard my voice in the conversation for <laughs> nearly three years now. That's a white tick. Her initial response upon hearing how she used to sound from a bank telephone recording Good afternoon, thank you for calling. was to long for her old accent to return. Yeah, I'm not actually ringing about my policy, though. Um, I'm ringing for a quote. <gasps> Do you know what my policy number? She's- I know it's me. But I feel like I want to say, oh, she she make a good speak. She speak a good. Uh. <laughs> it's like the fucking trade federation from Star Wars. Dude, 
That's insane. I, that that just makes me feel like everything. Like like, like you can wake up one day. Like, and, like, shit about a, about you change your settings. The fucking Chinese accidentally. Yeah, like, how do I get this thing to fuck back? I have no idea. And it's not just out. Chinese. It's like some some doctor guy on the. If you watch the whole thing, they explain it. I won't. I fucking <laughs> yeah, hate you sixty won't. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the other thing that's pissing me off is Trump went to Arlington. They're freaking the fuck out. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I don't like so disrespectful. Where do you want to stand? Huh? Where do you want to stand? Do you want to fucking hate cops and all this stuff? Or like, what's up with you guys? Yeah, like, all of a sudden they love the soldiers. Liberals are hitting real tree yeah. walls, fucking Harris hats. And it's like, dude, fucking seriously chill. Yeah, I mean, dude, I got to, in my recent psychedelic journey, I got to why we need the fucking teams. And it's so crazy how they protect us, dude. It's wild. Navy SEALs. I mean, all, the, all, of, the, all of them. All the tier ones. Not even you. You earned your tier one status recently, but yeah. I'm just saying, like fucking even walls. All the fucking you're thanking walls for a service. Well, I'm not gonna go that far. Right. Don't do that. I'm just asking. You. Yeah, you're a troll. <laughs> See, you you're... might be Satan's son. It's everyone or no one. <laughs> yeah, and I got. No, I, got I was real like sitting there just going, that. like, there are bad people. There are bad people, and yeah. it's like, dude, imagine being like, and then they want to be the people. It's my fucking. But we are the people. So we will probably get, and then some of us just don't have it in us to go. Like you, a lot of guys can't fight. That was a very Trump s sentence. Wow, <laughs> that sounded fucking yeah, very fucking Trump. Small dick too, huh, Bill? <laughs> no, no. What no. are you gonna say next, dude? No, no. <laughs> I'm, I fucking agree with you. It's my same fucking problem with Satanists. I'm just saying. It's like know, being a Satanist is the gayest thing in the world. And we made a fucking system of dudes that will go and fucking be like, "Yo, man, these guys are bad." Yeah. Just straight up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just like, I don't get like being actively evil and shit like that. Like that, I watched a Planned Parenthood video, dude, that brought me to my fucking knees. I'm just saying, sometimes you got to do bad shit to bad people. Obviously, dude. You get back into the wall, you have to become the Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched the Punisher video game that used to get me out. That thing yeah, was yeah. rough. It was like super gory and shit like that. Like putting people through die presses I never and played shit. It, yeah. it was fucking insane. But yeah, I, mean, I tapped out on vidges when I was like, as soon as I got my license. That's the other reason. And I played, no, I, I would take that back. I played FIFA pretty hard when I was 19. I, I think that's one reason I think shit's coming back. Black Ops 6 is coming out. And usually, like, dude, you. <laughs> I don't know. What this I wish is, you were there, man. bro. <laughs> Fucking COD. The battles you've had. COD during COVID. I would go to sleep in my head like this, thinking I'm looking at the fucking yeah. screen. Like, obviously, there's going to be a guy around that corner. <laughs> I knew the maps fucking intimately. Got a gold RPG. Not a huge deal. It's very hard to do that. Yeah. Everyone sits there with the M4s and all that stuff. Gold RPG, I'm the only one I saw, and not with the tracking. There's dudes who have the tracking one that can get the helicopter out of the sky. Me is just fucking a la Akbar shooting right at the sky, hitting helicopters down there. That shit was Do they have Journey stuff. Boys? Yeah, they have fucking UAVs, all that shit. Oh, wow. I mean, I... I want I want to know what the number of stolen I saw a cool 911 thing that said there were UA, UAVs there. What do you mean? On Un- are you talking about unidentified aerial vehicle? Oh, uh, no. Or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. I'm you, talking about like This is just stuff for like you can see people on the map. Oh no, yeah, I'm talking about something else. They're saying there was fucking yeah, aliens? Pretty, not aliens. But I mean UFO types. Yeah, I mean I would I, I've been watching videos just shit that's in this people are getting like, you know, pictures. Could be fucking fake. Who the fuck knows? Yeah. I mean, dude, the fact that they still try to pull off that the plane hit the fucking Pentagon. That's insanity. I showed you that video of the plane hitting the light. I bolt. mean, the hole doesn't match the size of a plane. Yeah, it matches the size of yeah. an explosive. <laughs> yeah. And it's melted fucking steel beams. I I never really thought about it, but like I'm the older I get, bro, the closer I get that there was no plane. There was a on um, nine, uh, in New York. There was a thing Fed sent me where it was like a wing of a plane. Yeah. Couldn't take down a light pole. I, served, I sent you that. Oh, you sent me that? Yes. I thought Fed sent me that. Oh. I sent it to all my friends, and it's still, that would be crazy if you're right on 9-11. But now- oh, I know that metal is, tensile strength, of, like metal is metal. Yeah. <laughs> like you are not going to beat another not metal with, with the, another metal. Yeah, not with aluminum. Yeah. Aluminum into fucking steel with insane, like- the construction's fucking insane, but, you it's know. It's like the lightweight ladders I was talking about. Like, that thing's not taking anything down. You're not, yeah, I'm not smashing no that speed. into a brick wall. There's no speed you can accelerate that to that's going to have it be, you know, it's just force mass acceleration. It would have Remember? to be literally like a rod of God type scenario that just blows up. But, like, dude, watching that fucking video and the plane going in it, I'm not sold on the plane <laughs> anymore. What are you talking about? Like, I don't think the, there was a plane. I I'm, People watch the plane. I understand that. I think it was a fucking... Like blue beam type thing. 
Because that plane, a hologram? that plane goes in, dude, and it just evaporates. It's a we. It's just a weird video I've been seeing. I think it explodes because there's explosives. Yeah, maybe. But yeah. For, for there's so- also I watched. Uh, there's also a thing where they were at the Millennium Hotel. I think it's called across the street, and there's a missile. A uranium tip missile was fired from it. That's what so I'm it was like. The plane didn't actually go into the building because yeah. you know what? It would have not done that. It would have fucking hit it and exploded. Yes. But like would have been glass everywhere. A missile hit it first, right as the plane was going in. Yeah. Kind of cut a hole in it. Right. Plane goes in a little bit, whole thing explodes, and then we go boom, 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 boom. Then the explosives go yes. off. Yeah. The, yeah. Watching that stuff just that didn't happen right away. It's not like if you watch if, if you look into 9-11, like that took like 45 minutes. Yeah, it took forever. I got home. <clears throat> it was like sitting there chilling, and then they were like, pull it. Yeah. yeah. I remember getting home and then it fucking collapsed. So they got the whole school out fucking on the bus, one of the last stops on the bus, and it just fell down perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> That's like in a footprint. That fucking gets me so angry because I have to sit there and fucking argue with people about it where it's like, dude, I'm not saying I know what but happened. There's dudes that are like, all right, smarty pants, check this out. And they make like debunking videos. Yeah. But they actually make themselves look like retarded, foolish midwits where they <laughs> put together a thing and you're like, dude. Are you honestly straw man? <laughs> yeah, for real. Steel man that for me? <laughs> yeah, like you can, uh, like you watch it and you're like, dude, fucking, I, I get that you think you're debunking this, but you're bending over backwards to make this make sense. The truth's easy to say, bro. It makes way more fucking sense. Like, dude, guess what? We didn't go. Yeah. We didn't go to the moon. <laughs> what made you get on the moon? I don't know. I just see memes, bro. Yeah. I, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like. I just see fucking memes. That's it. Yeah. The, the other, I read my little books and fucking. A hundred pages. I watch Blade, no I watch feet, Blade Runner. I'm chilling there watching Blade Runner. I'm like, damn. This is so like they wish that they want Blade Runner. Yeah, big time. Right. And then they actually say 10 Days of Darkness in it. It's fucking Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. When you were watching this with Listen, a date, man, maybe, did you say that? Did you say like 10 Days of Darkness? Do you understand what that is? <laughs> There'll be another one, dude. Sometimes you got to <laughs> let the catfish go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I know it's three minutes, but can I please play the Cooper video? The what? The Cooper video. Cooper, what are about, you talking about? About QAnon. And Trump. What are you talking about? The Anderson Cooper video where he's talking about QAnon and Trump and the blowjobs. I mean, you can if you want. I don't care. I love this video. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Tim Waltz are closing out day one of a two-day campaign through Georgia. The state that new polling just put out tonight suggests...